YouTubers and welcome to another Doctor Who action figure review. Today I am reviewing this. Now it's quite big so I'm just going to put it flat on the floor. It is the Doctor Who Toys R Us exclusive action figure, a six figure set, 2011. You might notice behind I've got the 2010 version, which is the Underhenge version. I might review that later, I don't know. But anyway, this one for now. Um, I'm simply reviewing... I simply got this uh, for Christmas. I know Christmas seems like it was years ago, but still. Uh, because I couldn't find a nephew, and I wanted a nephew. Using, I thought, oh, a nephew, that'll be good. I haven't, I haven't got a grey silent, and I didn't have a river, or an Adris, or a corroded Cyberman. Uh, now I've got all three. Three. I I knew I was getting a sketch from Doctor for Christmas anyhow, so I thought, oh, I've. Having two, that'll be good. Keep one in the box. So anyway, on to reviewing the box. You've got the Doctor Who logo. Uh, action figure. Six figure set. Includes. The 11th Doctor wearing cowboy hat. River Song, Corroded Time Man, Nephew, Idris, Silent. With figures from series six. And, is, and here you see the box. If I bring it. Back up. Got two logo on the top. Uh, same information. On the side, you've got the six figures. Uh, the, notice uh, it's a very, very thin, thinner box than before because it doesn't have a darking, so it doesn't have to be as thick. Got two um, logo, and on the back. Ooh, Display falling over. On the back, we've got a picture of nephew, uh, the doctor, uh, silent, and river, and it says from series five this time. Idris, corroded Simon, and a picture from the eleventh doctor in the tenth doctor's TARDIS. Okay, so that's that. Now it's time to take it out of the box again and uh, review it so here we have oh, the yeah. corroded Cyman with uh, chest damage even though it doesn't see it on the box but it's the exact same um, um it's pretty much exactly the same as the single carded release except it doesn't come with the head the cracked open head unfortunately so you know that is a downside but Still, it's nice to have it. I'll start off by articulation. The head can do a 360 degrees, move up and down slightly, side to side. The arms are ball jointed so they can go out to the side. They can, and it can, they can bend at the elbows. Oh, and also do the full 360. 360 degrees at the wrist. You have that sort of a V joint at the hips. Articulation at the knees. Feet. And there you go. So, let me just see the, the detail on this figure is excellent. Apart from it doesn't want to stand up. There. Oh, no. Alright, there we go. Uh, the detail is excellent. If I just put it, him down and uh, zoom in on him. So, the chest um, the chest does not have a 
a logo on it's all none no it's just loads of um wires and c connections and that thing now uh, you also have a bit of damage just here which might there you go big damage here uh, not painted unfortunately uh, another thing which is fortunate it doesn't have the damage on the arm because if you look on the box it on a picture on the box uh, it shows the damage on the Cyberman's arm unfortunately that is missing from this figure so um, going back to the head now the head is very very well detailed if I run my light there it's got scratch here's on uh, it's got the detail on the handlebars sort of uh, cracks on there which you can't quite see there you go that's all very nice and well. Uh, it's got this sort of corrosion rust effect on it, which I really like. Uh, you can actually feel it. And the silver is sort of a different silver uh, to before. Uh, the legs are very well detailed. You can see replacement plates on here with all uh, the bolts and screws. And some more at the bottom as well. And you've also got the detail here, just got the legs, which have uh, just been added this year. S same sort of detail on the back. Back, and uh, just compare it to a cyber man. There you go. So that's just a comparison. To a normal cyber man. So that's really it for this part of the review, and I will be reviewing Idris next time. Hello and welcome to my uh, Idris review. Ooh, so this is Idris from the box set. Uh, now I've uh, just fixed a problem I had on her, one of her her bows just here on the side. Ooh. If you'll uh, bear with me. See, now, uh, one of the bows, one of the loop bits, was just here. Had uh, been looped under uh, her dress, well, sort of dressing, and it was on the opposite side of a dress. Which was in turn pushing her arm off. I've just fixed that now. It's, it does seem a bit loose. Still, it's uh, much better than it was. So I'll continue. Um, the face. Whoa. What did they do? What made this figure come out so wrong? I drag it. I mean, it just looks wrong. The face. The face just looks. I turn my camera off. My light off, even. The face looks wrong. She looks like she's got loads and loads of eyeliner on. And it looks weird. Sure, it brings out her eyes, but far too much. Uh, her hair has also been painted this sort of um, 
reddish color, uh, this gingery color. Uh, now on this camera, it look, it looks um, with the light off. It looks brown, sort of brown. Uh, with the light on, you can tell. But I just don't like it. it frankly, uh, it does have a lot of detail on though. The skirts especially with just tons and tons of detail. You've got her little, little bows around here. Here all uh, the sort of scruff, the effect and all the lines going down. And also this sort of um, spider web effect, I don't know what you call it, which goes right down even onto her hand as well. Hardly any on the back. Although that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate because uh, there's hardly any on the back. Also... <laughs> The way the figure is done, uh, if you look at Idris on the front, she's fine. If you look at her on the back like this, it, she's fine. However, if you stand her up or put her sideways, she does look like she has a massive ass. I mean, seriously, what is the game? Unless it's just my one, it's... But seriously, it's dead wide. It... Is this, I don't know if it's just my one, I don't think so though, but what happened? Why is it so out? Um, nice, really nice detail on the boots though. The boots are very nice. Uh, you've sort of got green, green tights as well. And on her dress, you've got all the other dresses that were underneath, a uh, sort of light lime green, sort of uh, greenish brown underneath that. And uh, going into a purple brown again, and there it's just a, a red. But if I turn it upside down. She looks like an ice cream. Hmm. Anyway, if you just cover up that bit, she's an ice cream. I mean, I know lots of people love love the Idris, but the Idris figure even. But she looks like an upside down ice cream from her skirt. Just looks like an upside down ice cream. I'm seriously. It, it, just doesn't work. Anyway, articulation. Um, the head of mine can't move. The shoulders can do 360. Biceps and tr um, they're biceps, aren't they? Biceps can do a 360. El articulation at the elbow, at the wrist, at the at her boots, at her knees, and at the hips. Books very limited. Oh, and uh, at the waist. So, thank you for watching this review. My next review is going to be The Silent with Open Mouth. Uh, it's the grey one. I don't know what we've six from. I'm just doing these from the Toys R Us box set. But anyway. So, without further ado, okay, so um, here we have the Grey Silent with Open Mouth from the Toys R Us box set um, 2011. And so, the main difference is uh, with uh, the wave Bonnie, Bonnie, that's the only one I can remember. Um, is that the skin is a grey with bits of darker grey and black uh, and the suit is glossy see now i'll be honest uh, most people they either like this figure better 
or they don't. And you know what? Uh, before I got this figure, I thought, oh god, I hate it. Hate it, and so you know. That's it. Uh, but it's better than I thought. Uh, articulation, slight articulation in the head. That's nice. It falls down. Um, just just that. Uh, the arms are ball jointed, so they can go out, out and do the whole three sixty. I'm back in. Uh, articulation at the biceps, they do a 360, elbow, hands, which are massive, if they are 30% hands, and maybe even more, uh, articulation at the waist, that does a 360, hips, knee, and, uh, the triceps do a 360 as well. So that's all good. For some reason the silence never wants to stand up. But if we put him on the floor. Now the detail on this silence is really good. Good. But. He, to be honest he looks mad. Uh, uh, that's why I'm not as keen on the open ones as I am on the closed. Because, you know, I always wanted... As I, I said, I wanted a variant... I definitely wanted the closed one. I wasn't too bothered about open. Because it's great for animations, but... Having a silent on your shelf with an open gob the whole time going... <sighs> it's mad. However, this is a review, so I can't really. Um, the detail on the eyes are really good. But you can't see it on camera. Uh, but you do ha have a lot of detail in the eyes. The good thing about the grey ones are that um, it brings out more of the detail. However, uh, most of us know by now, the silence only look grey when they're in the dark. Where it's in like a dark scenery. However, um, when they're in the in uh, bright lights and that, in daylight, they look as though they're pinkish. However, it's a mix between the two of the actual colour. You know, still the suit is uh, glossy in that. And I think that's better because you know it looks a lot more like it's more slimy in that and reflecting off the light. So is the tie and the shirt. They're very well detailed. The head is absolutely amazing with all this detail with the open mouth. All the blacking so you can see how much detail it is. You can put the skull around the back. Very good. It's hard to see the detail um, on the side because, you know, it is really, really creased. Yeah, I mean, uh, the hands are like bony hands. Absolutely massive. Shoes are de have a tiny bit of detail on, but they're good. So, um, yeah, that's really all I can say. Quite short, but still short and sweet. So, I'll uh, see you next time. I'm uh, I'm not sure why I'm reviewing next time, but I'll review something, and I'll see you next time.